hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide how are you sending you the purest of love and light god is for us who can be against us right so remember we're on top and we're going higher we're stars they cannot stop us from shining and so let's get right into the message welcome if it's your first time returning soul drivers thank you for your love your support thank you for your comments i love hearing from you also please remember to uh, subscribe to my email list on my website as well so that way I'll be able to update you with anything that I'm doing you know any changes what anything new that's coming up in the future so that's a way for us to also stay in touch uh, with each other okay thank you so the first card here it says the strongest soldiers gets the hardest fight the strongest soldiers get the hardest fight so for a lot of you yes life probably kick your butt you know or it is kicking it right now or it's been kick 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 because you are a strong soldier you're a spiritual warrior you're here on a mission and it's like again the when you look at a building the taller the building is the deeper they had to dig so sometimes we look at a building how tall how nice it is not even knowing the depth of the foundation and so yes for a lot of you for a lot of us the mission the calling the purpose that we have on our life it that it's the reason why so much is added on to our life because the blessing is big you know it's like being pregnant with a, a big baby you know it's it's huge the mission is huge but everything that we need our engineer or architect divine already placed it inside of us and so even our ancestors because as we break these generational curses and these patterns we have an army in heaven who is applauding they're clapping us it's like been in sports again i love track and field so it's like while you are running while we are running our angels we have god we have our ancestors they are clapping for us go 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 they're cheering they're cheering us on so think about it you know not just living life for ourselves but living our life as if we know for sure we know that god is watching we know that our ancestors are watching us our grandparents whomever in your life that you know you respected and love they don't want you to give up they don't want you to give in we can't see them in the spirit but it's like every time we fall down we break down it's like they're helping us up they're sending us encouraging words you know some of the words they send us it's in songs it's in music the lyrics feathers birds we find a coin we smell a perfume something off them Sometimes you may even hear like somebody call your name. You something reminds you of them. It's because they're thinking about us too. It doesn't end with once they leave the physical. And for sure, for sure we know that God is for us. So he knows what we are capable of. He knows that we can do it even though sometimes we feel as if we're going to crumble, we're going to break under the pressures of life, right? But again, if we live as if they're watching us, they're applauding for us. It's like every day, whatever we're doing, our night, you want to make sure you put your best foot forward. 
Because not only are we doing it for God, but again, we have two forces. It's like every time we do something to displease God, it's like the enemy rejoice. Like, ha ha, look, you see, you, you keep on doing for them, but look, they keep messing up. So it's like when we live that way, then it's like our life is more accountable. We want to make it count. We want to make it count. Even again for our loved ones who pass on. When we decide to get up every day and push ourselves beyond the limitations. Even though you're crying and you miss them and you're sad. But you know they would want you to do that thing. They would want you to not give up. They would want you to not give in. They would want you to fight, have true grits in the face of fear. So for a lot of people, your rise is their demise. So those people who attack you, these are the ones who help to prove how strong you are too, how strong you are. Because it's like, if, if people, if you don't have anything to test your fence, sometimes you could put up a fence and you think that fence is strong, but you don't know how strong that fence is until a, a gust of wind come against that fence. And so again, as above, so below, we're here to live and to learn. It's like the same the, 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 the math that you got in, in first grade or grade one is not the same math you're going to get in second grade or, or grade two, right? So every level you get a little stronger. You get stronger. You master life, some lessons here, and you get stronger as you go up the ladder. So then we had these oppositions who were sent in our life who came our way to test, to test us. And for those of you who stood the test of times and you were able to ride the waves, congratulations. And for those of you, and again, we're always, we're going through things, right? It, it doesn't end, it never ends. It's like, keep going. We're just here to encourage each other to fight the good fight of faith. Because we know on the other side, your rise is going to be their demise. Because at some point, God is going to tell you to rest. He's going to prepare that table before you in the presence of your enemies. The wheel is going to turn in your favor. Where it's fated, it's destined for the things that the enemy or enemies were trying to block you from. The time is going to come when all of those things will manifest in your life. But again, it's like you had to pass those tests. Because for where you're going, you're going to need integrity. God must be able to trust you with people, with the hearts of people. So this is why we had our hearts broken. And that is a test to see, are you going to be bitter or are you going to be better? Are you going to grow for, from that? Are you going to be stuck in the hurt, the pain of unforgiveness? Because where you're going or where God wants you to be, you're going to be in a position where you're going to deal with people who are vulnerable, people who are broken. Are you going to misguide them, mislead them, take their kindness for weakness? Are you going to take disadvantage? Are you going to hurt them, abuse them? He needs to be able to trust you. Wow. Your rise is going to be their demise. Because the scale, the wheel, everything is on the up and up. It's in your favor. You drive these people crazy, I'm telling you. Because it's like, what is it with you that you won't give up? What is it with you that you're not giving in? We have gone to the highest 
demonic practitioners and you're still here. You're still here. What is it with you? Everything they throw at you, it is in you. They throw death at you, you are death. They throw magic at you, call it whatever name, you are the magic. They throw spell, you are the spell caster. But it's only that you use it for light and love. You know the dark, but it's a choice. Paul said, when I was a child, I understood as a child, I spoke as a child. I talk as a child. But now that I am a man, I put away childish things. You put them away. That means you know where to pick them up at any time. And so a lot of these people too, they underestimated you. Because some of them you had to get up and kick their behind. And let them know, don't, don't play with it. You had to put them in, your play, in their place. Let them know that you know what they are doing. You had to tell them the truth, even in love, but you had to let them know. Don't play with it. You drive them crazy. Their eyes are popping, their jaws are dropping, their heads are rolling because what is it with you? And it's like this card, it's in the reverse. And I, I looked at it and I'm like, wow, it's a silent river runs deep. A lot of you, you're not silent anymore. It's like you're coming to the surface now. You're showing the world the real you. You're letting people know that you are the one. God is putting you up now. You're speaking up now. Whatever it is that you're meant to do in this life, it's up front and in their face and it's personal. You're not dimming out yourself or anybody anymore. Because a lot of people, they, they abuse their power. You use sleep and mark death. You use the times when you were down and out and people were supposed to come in for you and they did not show up. And you're saying, man, what if I really needed help then? You're like, wow, so I guess they, they'll never show up for me. So I'm not even going to rely on these people. So you're speaking up now. You were silent. And a lot of people thought that because you're, of your silence, they took it for weakness. Not realizing you're meditating. You're a deep person. You're like a detective. You go under the surface, the depth. Again, it's like man look at the outward part. God looks at the heart. That's how you see people. That's how you judge people. Not based on how they look on the outward. Because some of these people you probably judge and thought too that they would be kind to you. And these are some of the ones who kick your butt. This is why now you're so strong. God gives his hardest battles to his strongest soldiers. Wow. It says new moon. So you're in a new phase, a new cycle. You're closing out, you know, a lot of old ways of thinking. And like I said, after a while, you know, God, it, it ends. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And for a lot of you, your new beginnings are here. A lot of these people, they will be jealous. They are jealous because you are now on top. Your rise, your new beginnings is going to mean it's an end for them. Everything good for you, when you're up, they're down. They're going to be sad now. But mind you, when you were down, they were happy. You use those times. You use sleep to mark death. When you were down, they were happy. So you know the opposite is in effect for you right now. You drive these people crazy. 
like it says here, nature, spirit. So for a lot of you, you're just going with the flow. It's like you're able to metamorph yourself into like anything. It's like they can't pin you down. They can't hold you down. It's like it's your ability to transmute pain. You're able to like camouflage. It's like God is able to let to shape shift you to transform you into different things is like when they think you're here you're there because look at here it's like you're in the trees like look at her face people have to look carefully it's like god hid you from these people as well and this is why you drive them crazy because it's like every trap they set for you it's not working. It's not working. For a lot of you, you know, the talisman, the key, new opportunities, doors, opportunities, blessings are coming your way. Again, with the new beginnings here. A lot of you, you're going to be able with the air to speak your truth, to communicate, to share with others of how you overcame people all your struggles you're going to be able to put this in books you know communication to let people know how you survive a lot of these struggles how god came through for you healer that's who you are you're a healer you're a light worker and i mean it's like god protect you look guides you are protected you are protected you're protected. It's because of the calling on your life. I'm telling you, the strongest soldiers get the hardest fight. You had to be broken yourself. Like Again, everybody admire the phoenix. How beautiful it is when it's rising. The butterfly, look how beautiful it is. But nobody realized the process that it, it took or it takes to get to that place. So in order for you to be this healer today or the healer that you will become, you had to be able to bandage your own wound, to be able to put on your own tourniquet to stop the bleed, the hemorrhage, so that you can restore hope to humanity. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. I love it. I love it for you. I love it for us. This is so beautiful. A lot of you, you've survived a lot of emotional storm, turmoil, unstable. You were affected a lot by people, by life, by circumstances. A lot of emotional storm. I mean, this is the cops had you in your feelings, left you out in the cold. Things that should make you bitter, broken, unforgiveness, stuck. You weren't able. You see, the thing is, the enemy didn't want you to overcome these things. If you were not able to overcome these things, then you would not be in the position. You would not be in your calling. Because the enemy wants you to be the opposite of everything that what God wants for you. To be stuck in a pattern, in a cycle, in a habit. They want you to be hurt so badly. That way, you I mean, it's like you're so broken that you live with resentment, unforgiveness. Now, a lot of these people, I'm telling you, they're going to want to come back for a second chance, another opportunity to make amends. Okay, whatever. I mean, you know they're jealous. You know they're up to no good. But because you're a healer, you know. You know what these people are up to. So it's like, it's kind of like fool the fool that is fooling you. A lot of them will want to come back. So... 
people may be reaching out to you that you haven't heard from in a long time again you use sleep and mark debt when you were going through certain life changing situations in your life they were not there for you so you learn you grew from that or you're growing from that now so it's like you don't really learn to rely on people because if you have another problem in your life they're not going to be there for you either because when you were in it going through it the hardest that's when you needed those people the most. They did not show up for you. You marked that time. It could have been worse. And they still would not even miss you. And then now because they see you survive certain things. They see you on top now. You're rising. Now they want to talk. Now they want to reach out. Okay. If it makes them feel better. But at the end of the day, they know they have to live with themselves. But again, you're going to protect yourself. You're going to be cordial because, again, some people may want to reach out to test the water to see if you really change. If you're going to be rude or mean response. But no, you outgrow that. You don't have to be that. I'm telling you, these people are confused uncertain, unclear, unsure. They don't know how you made it out. They don't know how you survive this. They don't know how you survive. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. Wow. It's too many. Yeah. Mmm. Twin flame mirroring shared feelings, reflections. So some of you, you know, you could have met persons in your life who mirror to you or you mirror to them the things that you need to work on. The parts of you that were broken that needs to be healed. And it's like that helped with the talisman, with the key there. Is like that helped to open the door for you to free yourself. It's like this cage bird. Because sometimes you meet people who they reflect those unyield parts of you. You're codependent. You feel as if you needed people. The wounds they open up is like the poor salt in those unyield parts of you. And for those of you who allowed God to help you to go through the dark night of the soul, you know what I'm talking about. So it's like you, with the help of God, you open the door to those parts. See, that's the part that a lot of people don't want to deal with. They don't want to go back into those traumas. They don't want to face their past to heal those things, to confront their fears. They triggered you and you probably, most likely you triggered them too. You mirrored back to them what they needed to work on. But they, a lot of these people, they fail to do the work, the inner work. So you have to move on because you have a calling on your life. You have a calling on your life, nourish, self-growth, Self-focus, soul-finding with the air, with the sword. So a lot of you, like I said, you're going to be able to feed people the word, the living word of how you came back. How you came back. Look, new beginnings. This is first start. Self-growth, self-focus. This is like you had to do these yourself. For a lot of you, you had to be selfless, selfish because you were so selfless in the past. You had to be selfish. And people say, you're mean, you're stuck up. But it's about time. It's about time. And so for a lot of you, you're going to have to share or you will share with people 
how you had to pull back your energy, how you had to nourish yourself, water yourself, pour back into yourself. And now as a result, with this new perspective, new outlook, you can now go out to minister to others, to water them, to empower them, to encourage them, teach them as a healer of how to have their own self-growth, to have their own self-focus, have their own self-interest, to know their self-worth, to self-love, so that they can build up their self-esteem, to empower themselves, because this is what you had to do. You allowed life circumstances and everything around you to teach you and with the guidance of divine and you're here but to tell them look if i did it so can you so can you i was cut down i was counted out and i sprang back you came back to life People are now realizing that if it's not dead, don't throw it away. A lot of people are in regret because they thought you were dead. And they throw you out. They didn't look at you. And now look, you're springing back. God hid you. God hid you in plain sight. I tell you with the nature spirit, he hid you. So when people thought that, oh, they're finished, they're done. Because that thing that you were going through, or you went through, are you going through this right now? That was supposed to take you out, have you somewhere in the back, somewhere. When the time when you used sleep to mark death, when you thought people would show up for you and nobody did, when they ignored you. <laughs> that's when you are growing back. That's when it's like in, in that hermit stage. God used that opportunity for you to heal your wounds. To nourish yourself, to water you. That's when God fed you. Mm. That's when you went in the word. That's when some of you, that book comes to life, right? You are the healer. Look, new beginnings. Try again. New direction. Start over. New beginnings. I'm telling you, you are driving them crazy. Because how could you? How dare you? Now you're putting distance, space, blockages between you and them. There's a gulf between us. They cannot come with you. They can't go with you. I'm telling you, you're a deep person. You go to the depth. You're a deep diver. You're not a surface level person. Your conversations are deep. You are, we are probably one of those, you go to dinner and the food will get cold, especially if you're in the, a captivating conversation. People are going to find you intriguing. And I mean, it's just life and the things that you've gone through. You could talk about it over and over and over again. A lot of these people, I'm telling you, bluff. They were pretenders. They wore masks. They exaggerate. They make up a lot of lies. They told a lot of stories about you. That's what they are. Now it's like they have to call. <laughs> they're a bluff. You're calling them a bluff. Because now you find them out. You found them out. And for a lot of you, you now have boundaries. Seven of Wands, you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your investment. Like I said, a lot of these people are going to want to come back. But you have boundaries. 
you're not going back. Temperance. God balanced this thing out. I'm telling you, you're an, you're an earth angel. You're a healer. You're here to restore peace and harmony to people. This is what a lot of these people are finding out. Who you really are. I mean, they put a lot of things in your life to, to you know, have you juggle and multitasking to bring conflict in your life. But you are an empress. You're a divine feminine. You're intuitive. You're fertile. Nature, again, you're creative as well. Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady win the race. I'm telling you, you build back stronger, stronger from the ground up. You did this by yourself while you have those loggerheads in the back with their ones because the jealous competition trying to create friction and chaos and rivalry and disagreement. This is why your new beginnings, it's driving them crazy. What is there to compete about? You're in two different lanes. They cannot compete where they don't compare. Your page of cups, I tell you, they want to come back to apologize. But a lot of these people, no, you're not going to accept their cup. You don't want it. You don't want their cup. Now, you're holding back from these people. You're holding back. You're sitting like this queen of pentacles here. You're stable. You're, you're not giving in. You're holding back your energy from these people. You're taking your energy back. They are the devil. 